right. If loving you is wrong, fans, uh, time to just bring up a in show shipping between Brad and Marcy. And to be completely honest, I feel like a majority of viewers feel that these two really don't belong with each other. And I have to agree. I feel like if anything else, fans seem to respond positively when these two are just consoling each other because I mean, literally they're friends and their cheating spouses cheated with each other. And who else would they have to turn to? I mean, Marcy didn't have anybody but uh, Randall's mother and she's just gone. And for Brad, you know, he's pretty much been getting influenced. I feel like Brad is a uh, kind of the victim of not getting the best help. I mean, he has done well to not fall into a darker hole as Eddie would have brought him into. But it seemed to me at first when Brad and Marcy were seemingly comforting each other, it turned into a twisted affair of their own just to get back at Alex and Randall. And it seems to me that, you know, Marcy is definitely the loose cannon of the two because more often than not, Brad is the one trying to reel her in from going too crazy. I mean, if anything, she joked, no pun intended, about Brad getting someone to kill Randall and then she tried to kill Randall and Alex herself. Hmm. So if Brad is still willing to date Marcy after trying to kill his wife, remember they hadn't divorced at the time, or well, they haven't even been divorced yet, and her ex in the shed, then he probably has things for crazy ladies, which could explain why he was with Alex, and that could support the theory that Alex has multiple personalities and is crazy, because that probably is what drew Randall to her, aside from Alex's own curiosity of being with a black man. Ooh, I'm not going to retract one of my videos, am I? <laughs> but in any case, I feel like, to be honest, and I said this before in the haves and the have-nots, it's not necessarily about two characters who I despise or anything, but two characters who I feel like don't have to be forced into a relationship because their friendship sometimes is better than what their relationship could be. Because if anything, I just don't like the conditions that brought Marcy and Brad together. If anything... Marcy is being a bad influence on Brad by making him as cold and vindictive as she is to an extent. But at the same time, I do like the fact that those two make each other happy in the midst of all the turmoil that their cheating spouses have put them through. But still, I mean, I just don't think a relationship between the two is right, in my opinion. Now, I'm not saying I completely, I was always a bore like the Ian and Marcy train. But I'm just saying, and, and this was before the big Jennifer reveal, but I just feel like if anything else, these two really need to heal before they get into any form of relationship with each other or anybody else. Just my two cents. But with that being said, you know, in the next episode, we have the interesting line where Marcy says, what if, what if I said that I wanted to get back together with Randall and Brad's doing a facepalm? And it could be tricky editing right there because it could be facepalming at another moment in the conversation, but we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, it doesn't seem like Randall's going to pop up at the restaurant, so luckily we don't have to worry about that since it seems like he's going to be too preoccupied with Tanya, but that's just my opinion there. But, yeah, I really don't see these two in a long-lasting relationship. I just don't, but that's just my opinion on that. But uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. As always, do you feel that Brad and Marcy will make a good couple? Do you think they're better off as friends? Or do you agree with me where it comes to these two do have to go through a lot of healing before they get into anything. And they even addressed that a couple episodes ago saying, look, after divorce, it, after divorces go through, let's just take it slow. No need to rush into anything. Let's just go on a date and then take our time from there because obviously they have a lot of stuff to deal with. So thanks so much for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button. Guys, the videos are going to continuously come as we get more clips and clues about what's coming up this Tuesday. And keep in mind that two weeks from now, We'll be getting the haves and have nots back. Of course, this is Monday when this video is going up, but you know what I mean? Two weeks from now, the hype will be real because we'll be eagerly awaiting any kind of have and have not content that Owen's going to drop. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you just saw, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Or if you have anything you would like to add to the video, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to keep up with me on social media, go to the description box. All of my links for social media are right there. 
Also, if you feel like you would like to donate to the channel, make sure to click on the link to PayPal. Any amount helps, a dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars. As a full-time YouTuber, any support from my fans really does mean a lot to me. Finally, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you're kept up to date on any new content I post to the channel. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you in the next video.